Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. I have for you today part five of the video series Satan's Powers and What to Do About Them by Alice B. Claggett. Part five is entitled How to Recognize a Person Who Practices Satanism. And I should tell you that this section has to do with my own clear observation and intuition and channelings and not with the Bible whatsoever. These, these are merely my own thoughts on the topic. I know these opinions that I have about this are merely from the clear plane and, and merely intuitive and I expect there would be many people that would disagree with me about it but these are my clear understandings of the topic of how to become aware of a person who has practiced Satanism for a long time and how to know that it's important to change directions and move away from them in the physical plane to get out of sight, to get out of mind, so that no bad things befall us light workers. And it goes like this. In order to figure out whether a person has been practicing Satanism for some time, one thing we can do is look at their life force. This is something that clairvoyant people can look at, sensitives and intuitives. For people who have practiced Satanism for some time, I feel the life force will be seen to be very weak, very tenuous. No. I have here a picture of a person with a strong energy field as a opposed to a person with a weakened energy field, and it looks like this. Over here, a strong energy field, and over here, a weakened energy field. Here you can see that the energy field is smaller, and it's not completely in balance either. So the psychic can look, the clairvoyant person or the light worker can look at a person and, and see their aura or their energy field and get a feel for whether or not it's likely that they've been practicing Satanism for a long time. Of course, there are a lot of other reasons why the energy field might be weakened. This is just one indicator. If the energy field is weak, then it's likely you will observe that the nervous system of that person is also very weak. I found a picture called Detail of Death in the Sick Room by Edvard Munch, 1893 from Wikimedia Commons, public domain. And I thought, well, this might give a person struggling to figure out um, whether the nervous system is weak. Uh, a budding uh, medical intuitive might look at this picture here of this woman and see uh, that she might be someone with a, with a weakened nervous system. That's one type of look that a person with a weakened nervous system might have. I have a comment for this image as follows. I associate the oneness it's W-A-N-N-E-S-S, -S -S, or paleness of the person in this painting with nervousness. I feel that other indications of nervousness might be jitteriness of speech or of the limbs, like the hands and feet, lack of balance in physical movement, or jitteriness or imbalance in the energy field or aura. But sometimes these same symptoms may occur due to lack of sleep or physical fatigue or physical diseases. So you see, nervousness observed in a person is, is also a possible indicator of the long-term practice of Satanism, but it can also indicate other physical problems. It's not absolutely definitive. The next indicator is a tendency to cancer. 
Now, everyone knows there are many other reasons for a tendency to cancer, but practice of Satanism, because it weakens the energy field and makes a person more nervous, can, can lead to cancer, I feel. I have an image for you called The Old Guitarist, Oil on Panel by Pablo Picasso. Uh, late 1903 or early 1904, from English Wikipedia, and it's in the public domain. It's a picture of an old man, very weak old man, very sad old man playing the guitar. You can see he, he can barely keep his head up. Seems to be falling over. And I, my comment on this is, this image seems to me to be of a person with a tendency to cancer. I feel that to be so because the man in the painting looks so sad. Some say cancer can be cured through laughter and a lighthearted attitude. So what I'm getting at is this picture shows someone weakened and sad and feeling negative emotions and negative emotions make a person prone to cancer. And one of the reasons why a person might feel negative emotions, I feel, might be the long-term practice of Satanism. Here's the next point. The next indicator is the immune system, I feel, will be less than optimally effective. Um, it's hard to get a picture of a uh, weakened immune system I found on Google. So by way of contrast, I have for you an image that I feel symbolizes a healthy immune system. And it's rather dramatic, and it looks like this. You see two skiers, Norwegian skiers, are carrying between them a little child. And they're skiing very intently along. It looks like they're defending the child, doesn't it? And helping him to escape. The image is called Birka Bainerne, B-I-R-K-E-B-E-I-N-E-R-N-E, -E -E -E, by Knud Bergslien, K-N-U-D-B-E-R-G-S-L-I-E-N. -E -E the description, <laughs> can you see me? The description of this image has some Norwegian names in it that I can't pronounce, so I'll just explain. These, uh, these two people, the two skiers, are top Norwegian skiers a long time ago who took the king of Norway son to safety um, at Christmas. They moved in frost, snow, and bad weather into the mountains. It's a very famous painting, and um, my comment is, this image reminds me of people with very strong immune systems. The immune system defends the human body from pathogens and helps bring it back to a healthy state, just as these quote-unquote birch leg skiers defended the young prince of Norway and helped bring him to safety. Now the next point, the next indicator, I don't know what to do about all this sunlight here. Such a person, a person who has practiced Satanism for a very long time, will, I feel, look wizened like a person of advanced age, even though he or she may be in earth years, still young or of middle age. I have an image for you entitled, Last Photograph of Transito Amaguanya by Lobita del Sur, 9 October 2017 in Wikimedia Commons. It's Creative Commons, and it looks like this. This is an image of a very old person, is it not? Um, and you can see, you can see how wizened the face is. You see that? Kind of withered. comment is, the face of this older person looks wizened, wrinkled, or withered. Sometimes the faces of younger persons look prematurely wizened as well. And that I feel to be a possible sign of long-time practice of Satanism. The next indicator I have for you is 
the astral form will be lifted away from Earth so that the central energy channel, that's a kundalini of the Taurus, the energy field, cannot be grounded to Earth. I have an image for you entitled, Let Me Lift You Up, Metaphor. It's an image adapted by me, Alice B. Claggett, 19 April 2016, and it's Creative Commons. Um, you'll see the silhouette of a woman, and around her, but lifted off the ground, a yellow, uh, a yellow shape or shadow. This yellow shape or shadow is like the, the astral form of the woman. And I have noticed that in people who have practiced Satanism for a long time, or so it seems to me intuitively, there's, there's, um, there's a disjunct, there's a lifting up of the astral form off of the ground uh, so that the person is no longer grounded to Mother Earth. So this part here of the astral form doesn't touch the Earth. It's almost as if there's a demon up there, up here, pulling the astral form up uh, off of the ground. It's the strangest thing, very strange indeed. The description of the image is gray silhouette of a standing woman viewed from the side. There is a yellow silhouette representing the astral body hovering off the ground with its head above the head of the gray silhouette. Uh, this picture will be it, uh, shown again at the end of this video, and there I will show the credit. The last indicator is a corollary of the one just discussed, and it goes like this. Thus the astral form of the human being who worships Satan becomes available for satanic obsession. It is this obsession that results in criminal acts of notable violence such as murder, especially sacrifice of innocence, rape, cannibalism, and mutilation of other people's human forms or possibly of one's own. I have an image for you entitled Obsession, Descent of the Dark by Alice B. Claggett, 23 May 2019. It's Creative Commons, and it looks like this. And here's the comment. This is my comment. What I say, here's the comment, it means that I have a comment to add to the image. The comment is, the animated GIF in which this image appears is featured in a blog entitled Alice's Perilous Tales, The Man with a Trembling Pinky by Alice B. Claggett in my website, Awakening with Planet Earth https colon slash slash awakening with planet earth dot com so you can go there and you can look up the story behind this image and the animated gif that I didn't put in the current series because it it, it won't show well in a video alright so let's just go over uh, the bullet points the important indicators that I found to be true in my personal life with regard to spotting um, people who have been practicing Satanism for a while and getting clear of them on the physical plane, getting away from them before th any harm befalls me. First, the life force will be seen to be very weak, very tenuous. And a corollary, consequently the nervous system will be very weak. Second, there will be a tendency to cancer. Third, the immune system will be less than optimally effective. Fourth, such a person will look wizened, like a person of advanced age, even though he or she may be, in earth years, still young or of middle age. <laughs> Fifth, the astral form will be lifted away from Earth so that the central energy channel or kundalini of the Taurus 
or energy field of the person cannot ground to earth. And a corollary. Thus, the astral form of the human being who worships Satan becomes available for satanic obsession. That's temporary possession. It is this obsession that results in criminal acts of notable violence, such as murder, especially sacrifice of innocence, rape, cannibalism, and, and mutilation of the human form. It seems to be unlikely you'll ever run across somebody with all those possible indicators, but if you run into someone with a few of them, uh, for whatever reason, then I'd say it'd be good to steer clear of them. That's my idea as a, as a light worker. Uh, and I have a reason to say so, but I've said so in my blog, uh, and I won't bother to, um, to go on about it here, except to say, if you go to my blog, Awakening with Planet Earth, and search for perilous tales, you'll find s some of the things that have happened to me around this topic of satanic uh, obsession, satanic possession, and long-term practice of Satanism. So, that's all for now. God bless you all, and keep you safe, and be with you through all your days.